Well, good afternoon and welcome to H360 Live. My name is Dave Duplay and I'm joined here in the studio this afternoon with my friend and colleague from Healthy O360, Ms. Cortland Long. Cortland, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Dave. We have a busy week. Uh, of course, we're doing a couple of videos this week and yep. we're actually going to be going to a Yankees game. Yes, very exciting. Very exciting. Well, we've got a great show for you today. Andrew Ritter from Ritter Pharmaceuticals is going to be joining us in a little bit. They're doing some great work over there. They're focused on the gastrointestinal uh, area of the body and specifically lactose intolerant. There's many of you out there that I would imagine are watching the show that experience a little lactose intolerance. So we're gonna find out exactly what Ritter Pharmaceuticals is up to and the great work they're doing. And they've got a clinical trial underway. We're gonna hear all about that in just a little mm -hmm. bit. And I wanna go over just a few uh, pieces of information, some basic information about lactose intolerance before we uh, speak with Andrew. So a person with lactose intolerance doesn't have enough enzyme lactase, uh, which is needed to absorb lactose. Uh, so the lactose sits in their stomach, uh, becomes a bacteria and causes much pain and bloating and other symptoms. That's really what's behind this. You know, approximately 33% of the people are lactose intolerant, although some 75% of adults exhibit decreased lactose activity, uh, or lactase activity actually. Lactose intolerance is more prevalent in areas that are less conducive to dairy farming, and the highest rates tend to be found in South America, Africa, and Asia. Amazing statistics here, Cortland. A mm -hmm. big challenge, and Ritter's all over it. So Andrew, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me, mm -hmm. some tolerance and nine million have moderate to severe symptoms that dramatically affects their lifestyle, dramatically affects what foods they can eat. And it's a real problem for those that have it. Well, Andrew, we know that you have a personal story behind lactose intolerance. So can you talk with us a little bit about your personal struggle with lactose intolerance? Sure, so I grew up severely lactose intolerant as a young child. And when I was seven, eight years old, I couldn't eat the same foods as my friends, such as ice cream, pizza, and cheeseburgers and, and it was frustrating being a young child growing up not being able to have these foods without having severe symptoms and severe symptoms for lactose intolerance is gas, cramps, bloating, diarrhea. These are symptoms that are not only painful but can be quite embarrassing too. Mm -hmm. And so doctors tell you really you can avoid dairy products or suffer the consequences. So there's not many options out there for this condition. And so after years of suffering from this condition I decided to contact leading lactose intolerance and GI experts from around the country to develop a better treatment. And literally used myself as the first test subject in my garage uh, when I was in the eighth grade. I decided to start tinkering with developing a better treatment and ultimately developed this uh, program. It's a 30-day program that ultimately gave me the, the ability to, to dollar dairy products. So you're a very young man you're in your garage, you're experimenting on yourself. So did you find that some of the experiment, you were ridding yourself of lactose intolerant or you know, was the process very frustrating for you? Well, you had good days and bad days. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, it, it was a, a process. It, it took me a while to figure out and, and um, a lot of trial and error. Um, when I first developed it, quite frankly, I didn't necessarily know what was working or how it was working. And so at that point, I got a lot more chemists and manufacturers and, and physicians involved to really fine tune it and figure out exactly what was working. And that led to the, the really the start of the company, which we call Ritter Pharmaceuticals. And as a company, we're developing treatments for digestive diseases. Our primary focus right now is this product for lactose intolerance, in which we're developing the first prescription drug to treat lactose intolerance. And we put together a team of, of these medical experts, including uh, some of the top experts in the country when it comes to lactose intolerance research. Mm -hmm. So in all your research around lactose intolerance, do you notice that this condition affects one population more so than another? Yeah, it certainly does. So for instance, Asians, 90% of Asians are lactose intolerant, uh, close to 80 to 85% of African Americans are lactose intolerant. There's, there's high prevalences among certain ethnic groups, and it's primarily based off of their culture and history of, of what types of foods they eat. Mm -hmm. You know, Andrew, <clears throat> you hear a lot these days about the microbiome and bacteria in the gut and good bacteria and bad bacteria and the balance between. Um, talk to me about lactose intolerance and microbiome. Is there a correlation there? I mean, what, 
What do you find in your research? Sure, so the microbiome is a really exciting area. Your microbiome, which is the, the gut floor that leave um, in your digestive system, pretty much helps digest any foods you eat. And um, it's what causes, if you have an imbalance or you have bad, more bad bacteria versus good bacteria, it's what could cause a lot of the discomfort many patients have, not only for lactose intolerance, but other digestive diseases as well, such as irritable syndrome or Crohn's disease. When it comes to lactose intolerance specifically, uh, we've, when you look at our product, for instance, we've found that if you can modify the microbiome and improve its function in being able to digest dairy products, you will reduce the symptoms of lactose intolerance. And so when you look at our product and what we're doing, what we've done is we've developed a, a sugar, an oligosaccharide sugar, it's basically like a superfood that you take over 30 days, and when you take it for 30 days, it stimulates the growth of certain bacteria in the colon to um, better metabolize or digest dairy products. So we're essentially training the microbiome in a, in a way that allows the system to better digest dairy products. And so when you consume dairy products after taking this product, you have an improvement to digest dairy. And currently we're in our clinical studies um, going, evaluating this and um, uh, performing these studies to prove that efficacious wise this product can really help treat this condition. Mm -hmm. So Washington is getting a lot of attention these days with the election, cancer moonshot initiative, and the White House has also recently taken a large interest in the microbiome and announced the National Microbiome Initiative. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what else people should know about the microbiome and how it's so important for your general overall health as well? Well, the microbiome in many ways, it's, it's everything on how you digest foods. And there's nothing worse than having cramps and bloating when you're eating foods. And so it's really important to keep the healthy mm -hmm. microbiome. And that's why, for instance, yogurt, you hear so much about eating yogurt, which helps balances your digestive system. And so looking now in the future, there's uh, there's a lot of research coming out that if you can shift the microbiome, you can alter the course of, of really a healthy host and improve digestion and reduce the symptoms that are caused by a lot of these conditions. And so for us, we're specifically looking at how you can improve the microbiome or shift it to improve digestion of dairy products. And in our first study that we conducted, we found that patients that went on our program over 90%, over 80% um, of the patients on a program saw a significant shift in their microbiome, essentially improving their ability to digest dairy products after taking our product. So, so how do you come about this? You're, you know, are you really studying the microbiome and trying to figure that out, or was the, was it a function of I've got these symptoms, I'm lactose intolerant? You know, how do you come about developing your RPG 28? Well, it started for me, it started with the issue of being lactose intolerant and yeah. saying, this is, this is not fun. Yeah. Uh, and so it really started with the drive that I wanted to try to find a better treatment for my lactose intolerance. And ultimately, it led me to this, this course of looking at um, the microbiome and how that played a role with my, my symptoms. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's ultimately what, what really drove it. Hmm. So you've mentioned that uh, this is in clinical trials right now. What exactly are you testing this for in the clinical trials? So we're currently running a, um, a, a clinical study, which is we call it a phase 2B3 clinical study. It's a 372 subject study, and it's in 17 locations throughout the, uh, the country. And we're enrolling subjects to evaluate the, really the efficacy of the study, uh, of the drug, for FDA approval. Mm -hmm. And so if patients have lactose intolerance, they can actually enroll today uh, in one of these studies to, to try the medication. Uh, and we are um, we're moving through it very quickly and we hope to have results by the beginning of next year. So uh, Andrew, for those of our members and, and visitors here to Healthio360 who are watching this, where can they find more information on the clinical trial and the work that you guys are doing? They can learn more about our company at ritterpharmaceuticals.com and they can also learn more about the clinical study directly at lactosetrial.com. So you can go to ritterpharmaceuticals.com or lactosetrial.com. So, <clears throat> Andrew, before we end, I'm, I'm really curious because this is kind of, a, your story is fascinating to me. And you're a young man and you're in your garage and you're talking to these scientists and making these calls. And what's your family thinking? I mean, I, I, they're, you know, and your friends, I mean, they're going, well, where's, where's Andrew? Well, he's, 
he's in the garage testing uh, things on himself to come up with this course of therapy. I mean, how exciting could that be? Well, fortunately, my family was very, very supportive of me. And, uh, and it, it, with where we are now, we have uh, a company that's doing well, and we're looking forward to hopefully bringing the, this product to the market shortly to help the millions that suffer from this condition. That's what's really driven me. It's that I know how bad lactose intolerance can be because I suffer from it, and I really want to help those that suffer from it be able to live a normal life again. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for coming in. We wish you the best of luck, uh, and I can't wait to see this product get to market and help uh, the many millions of people that need it. Well, thank you for having me. Um, so again, thanks for coming in. We'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making this all possible. Remember, all of our episodes can be viewed on demand at HealthyO360.com, and our op podcast can be found in the iTunes store. Well, we're all over social media. We love Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. We use the hashtag RealStories when posting, and we greatly appreciate it if you would do the same. On behalf of Dave Duplay, myself, and the entire HealthyO360 family, We'd like to thank you again for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.